So, hi guys. Let's have a look at changing the colors in an image. So let's start with this one. Something stupidly boring. Get info, share, create. Copy, rotate, show, create, add to. Edit with. There we go. Edit with Affinity Designer 2. Now, you see lots of these on the on the um, news groups and people are saying how do I get rid of all of that yellow color in there is it yellow creamy color in there backgrounds well whole backgrounds you can get rid of um, really simply now the thing I'll do is go up here this is Affinity Designer 2 and it's on the Mac it works exactly the same on the iPad and on the PC now you can see that's locked so let's make a duplicate duplicate you can see there we've got a duplicate and we can turn that, that layer off. Now, because this is destructive, that layer is turned off. Now, let's go over here. We're in the pixel mode. That might highlight in a moment. No, it's not going to highlight. Good on you. Okay, there's an eraser brush. Eraser brush. And we've got a fairly big brush there. 64 pixels, that'll do it. And you can wipe all that red stuff out. Wipe all that out. Wipe all that out. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now, I'm not going to bother refining all of this. That grey colour that's there. I just want to get rid of that red stuff that's there. The grey I'll use in the pixel mode again, of course. And we'll use that magic wand, the flood select tool. That's up to there. Now you can see the tolerance I've got set to 7%. Let's set that even lower. We've got a tolerance of about 3 there. And you can see it's highlighted that just there. Go up to Edit and Cut. Go up to Edit. Highlights all that grey there. Cut. There's a bit down the corner that I missed when I was eraser brushing. Cut that out. And you can see it's not highlighting the red, it's only highlighting the grey because I've got the tolerance set very low. So it won't go outside the borders of the colour I'm selecting. Now that's got the whole... Let's go and see what happens if I type cut there. There we go, nothing. So it's already selected that layer. Now there we go. There's all of that grey right around there. Edit and cut and there's that gone now select and click on deselect all the crawling ants are gone now what we want to do we want to get rid of the white in there well yes let's go for it couldn't be more boring select the flood select tool tolerance current layer tolerance uh, seven percent this time there we go there we go now you can see the white is all in highlight there with the crawling ants going around the edge. Can you see that? Very good. Edit and cut. Now there's all the white gone. Now what can you do with this? You can do lots of really nice things. Um, we'll go up there and select and deselect. So the crawling ants are gone. Now I might want to change the color of the roof too. So let's select the roof and edit and cut that. You can use um, Command or Control, whatever that is. Option, I think, the funny little squiggly thing. Looks like a looks like a fancy knot. There we go. That's selected. Edit and cut. There's that left wall. There's the front wall. Edit, cut. Edit and cut. Edit and cut, and so we go on. Cut. Now, I don't know who did this little house. It's fairly rough, but it's an example. Somebody on one of the Facebook groups I was reading wanted to know how to get rid of these colors. So there you go. That's how you do it. And you get rid of that and that. And there's the windows. Edit and cut. Of course, you can multiple select a few of these by holding various keys down and 
having them all selected at once, but this is one way of doing it. It avoids making stupid mistakes that you have to undo all at once. Now there's the side wall you can see I've got over there. It's selected. We'll cut that one. And the window, yes, cut that out. Might as well do the whole thing while we're at it. There's no rush after all, is there? Cut, 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 cut. Edit, cut. Select, edit, cut. And you get the idea. Oh, there's some there. How much more of this stuff can we get? Cut. Yeah, that's got that in there. Oh, look at that there. There's a bit there. Cut, cut again. There's another bit there. Cut. Oh, yes, very good. Just mind you don't overstep your mark and select the red. Otherwise, you'll end up cutting all the red out and leaving just the background. There's some more there. Edit. Cut. Amazingly complex little thing, isn't it? Edit. Cut. Edit. Mm, edit. Cut. Mm, I have no idea what I could replace this with, but that's up to you. Edit. Cut. Edit. Cut. Now, the house in there is is um, all ready to do something else with. Put your own colours in there, put a nice background on it. See, there's some more there. The more you look at this, the more of those little coloured patches you find. And I'm sure when you've got the whole thing finished and you're showing your family and they say, but why did you leave those little colours there? And you think, oh no, I thought I had this right. And there's the last little one in the middle. Can I see any more? No, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Now, file, save as. Let's call this something really imaginative, like house cut out. There we go. Save that. Now you can go away and make a cup of tea and come back to this with no fear of having lost it. Now what can you do with that? Okay, now that we've got our house sitting on a clear background, we can select any colour we like and recolour it. Now we're still in pixel mode. We go to the flood fill tool again, make sure the tolerance is around 2% and just click on that. Oops, select the background layer. We forgot to select the layer. There we go. Now we've got that area selected. And you can see it's really nice. So let's give this, mm, what colour roof would you like? Let's give it a brown roof. Now this is doing it very simply. No brushes, just a flood fill. Select the flood fill on the left hand side. Go find a brown roof. There we go. That'll do. And presto, brown roof. Go up there, edit, select and deselect. That way we've got the roof deselected. A brown roof and so let's do that again. Select your, will that pop up with its little pop up? No, it's not going to do it this time anyway. It's the flood select tool. So go and making sure you've got the part that you worked on. Now there it is, selected, 2%. Brown roof, um, what's a nice house colour? Let's give it some pink walls. Now I have seen a pink house. It was very strange. Well, it's not quite pink, it's a purpley colour, isn't it? Um, let's make it a yellow house, kind of, kind of yellow. There we go. That's nice. And go over to Flood Select Tool. Click on Flood Select, Yellow Walls. Flood Select there, select that one. Back to Flood Select. It's still yellow and a yellow front. Back to that tool. Click on the other front wall. Back to Flood Fill, still yellow. 
click in there and we've got yellow walls. Now I've got a strong suspicion that that there may have been a door. Or is that the door? I don't know. But you can see that's filled in there. Now we don't really want that so you'll have to come back and edit that. Now the veranda floor. There we go. The front stoop. That floor there is definitely could be a brown, just like the just like the roof. So we'll take that there. Go to the back to pixel mode. The bucket. Make sure the colour's there that we want and fill it in. Now there's a brown veranda there. Select that. Select that. Plug fill. Deselect. That's getting in the way of that. Boring. So let's move on to something much more interesting, shall we? Let's just uh, save that and I'll come back to it. Save it and close it. Let's just drop that down out of the way for the time being. Now we're in photos as you can see there. What I want to do is have a look for a photo. Well it's not actually a photo. It's an image that I was using before. That one there. Edit with Affinity Designer 2. And there we go. Now that's a much more interesting image. Yes? No. Of course it is. Let's duplicate that. And Un, um, hide the original. We've got the background. So if I mess it up, we've still got the original on the on the thing here. Same deal. Now, what can we do with this? Put it into pixel mode. Go to the flood select tool. Set the tolerance. I've got two percent there. Drag it down there. Now that's selected just about as much as I want because I held the key down and dragged it a little bit. Now that's covered lots of things there. Edit, cut. There's our background gone. Same deal. Select, edit, cut. Select, edit, cut. Now you can make this cover lots of ground by Raising the tolerance slightly. See, there's 17%. Hmm. There we go. There's that one down there. Cut. Edit. Cut. Edit. Cut. Edit. Cut. Edit. Cut. Now we've got some stray colours there that we will apply that. There's our girl. Select. Deselect. Now we've got a reasonable picture there. Now I've just done this fairly quickly as you've observed. But what I want to do here is place a background behind there. Place a background. Let's go back to photos. That's loaded it in. OK, open. Oops, that rolled away a little bit there. And you might think, now what can you do with that? You just drag it down. You can see on the right hand side there, I'm using my cutout as a mask. Now I can still place that around there. Let's put the horizon back in there. About a third of the way down with a streak of lightning. Close that there. Now those little lines and things you can see there, we'll definitely have to get rid of those. And they're in the background, but you can get rid of those at will. And that of course is done. Let's recap in the pixel persona with the flood select tool, the flood fill tool in the little house job and placing 
file, place an image. And I just placed another image behind there. So I've completely, mm, completely redone that photo, if you like. And that's what it looks like. OK, let's see if we can edit that and give you a presentable little tutorial in changing the backgrounds and colours and things. I could colour her jacket some other colour. I could give her different coloured hair. You can do any of those things. But we won't go there now. So, how's that looking? Go ahead. Make my day. Subscribe.